Mr. Flesher, we, you live this every day. Uh, we had the great joy of being together in Hebron and, and to see the, the final resting place where Abraham and Sarah and our patriarchs and matriarchs are at, but, but you really live it. And I think a lot of people visiting, as I encourage you all to do, are kind of shocked when you go to a site like that to see what Hebron is like, to see what Bethlehem's like, to see what other parts of Israel are like. Give us some insights uh, as to what it's like and what it should be going forward. First thing, it's so great to be here at CPAC. It's so great to be with so many people that really appreciate Israel. And, and I, I agree with what you're saying, Governor. Come and visit it, come and see it for yourself, especially to places that you may be afraid to go to because the reason you're afraid is because somebody wants you to be afraid. Yes. We cannot be victims of terror. We gotta go to those places that we love so much from the Bible. It's Bethlehem, it's Hebron, it's Judea, it's Jerusalem, of course. Um, I also want to thank the folks at Chovevei Zion. There's an organization here called Lovers of Zion, and, and they helped me come here today. Uh, the President Trump, we've said a lot of great things. Congressman said a lot of great things about President Trump. One thing that has not been said is that the Trump administration left UNESCO. Yes. Leaving UNESCO. Now, the reason Nikki Haley stated this twice, that, that, that the United States left UNESCO, was because UNESCO decided that the Tomb of the Patriarchs and Matriarchs in Hebron is a Palestinian World Heritage Site and that Israel was endangering it. Reversing that meant actually getting truth back on the table, getting truth back on the table. Look, the people that live in Judea and Samaria, the so-called West Bank, the biblical heartland, are courageous. Sometimes they call us settlers. Uh, I, I used to not like that term. You know, actually, my wife has a cookbook called the Settlement Cookbook, right? It's not such a bad word. Uh, you know, let's settle down and don't settle for less. It's, a, it's not such a bad word, but it's become to mean something bad. But the truth is, the word settler means courageous Jews who hold on to the heartland of Israel. And so I'm proud to have, uh, to have that term. And we're working on making it more touristic, more normal. Recently in Hebron, uh, I had a bat mitzvah. My daughter reached the age of 12. Nice. And I reached out, uh, my, my family, we love fireworks. We love fireworks. Ah. And we do fireworks at big events. And I reached out uh, to some of the Jewish members of the community to see if they could fire off some fireworks for the bat mitzvah, for the celebration. No good. Bureaucracy, too much money, army didn't like it, security didn't like it. I didn't know what to do. I reached out to some of my Palestinian neighbors. They happen to fire off fireworks all the time. <laughs> so I reached out to them. They were like, what? I said, can you fire off fireworks? They said, do you want us to buy you some fireworks? No. I want you to buy them and shoot them off of next to a building next to the tomb of the patriarchs and matriarchs so we could have it for my daughter's bat mitzvah. And you know what? They did. And they were so, not only did, 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 I, did they honor me, but I honored them. Happens to be that those, that's right, it's an, it was an amazing thing. It was like six minutes of fireworks. It was unbelievable. Uh, it was just awesome. My daughter will never forget it. But those are, those are different kinds of Arabs that don't want the Palestinian Authority, don't want the corruption, don't want the jihad. But they're a minority, and they live in tremendous fear from a thuggish organization that wants to suppress them. Uh, if you ask me what the map should look like, which is the name of this panel, which, what should Israel look like, I say one word. Big. Yeah. All right? I say Israel should be big. A big Israel means more rights for more people. It means more defense for Israel. And it means access for all of you to come and visit. Well, it, exactly. And another reason to go, I remember, I remember the first time I met, met with uh, not only Netanyahu, but with Knesset members from opposing parties. And it's another great reminder, not just physically being there, but talking to folks. The Knesset's made not only of, of, of Jewish Israeli citizens, but of Arabs. It's a democracy in a land surrounded by countries that clearly are not. And, and it's often surprising to see not just synagogues, but not only Christian churches, but mosques to show just the incredible freedom. What I loved the last time we were there, though, is you gave me a uh, Make Hebron Great Again hat that I wore. <laughs> up atop of one of those homes overlooking the tomb. Uh, pretty cool stuff. So not quite as great as Keep America Great Again, but pretty nice along the way. So thank you.